It is 7.32 in the morning. It is a Tuesday morning. We're flying solo this morning. I think we're going to do that again tomorrow as well. But everything will remain the same except for that. Uh, got your birthdays, some uh, big shot birthdays. I don't know how big shot she is. Tina Cole. Tina, have you ever heard of Tina Cole? She was on My Three Sons. I'm guessing she was one of the wives. She is 77 years old today. Actor, comedian Richard Belzer, comedian, we use that term loosely, was a pretty good actor. He was on Law and Order, uh, Special Victims Unit, and he was on Homicide. He's 76 today. Billy Bob Thornton is uh, 65 years old today. We have a uh, producer, uh, Michael Gelman. He's uh, the producer of uh, Live with Kelly and Ryan. He's uh, 59 today. Actor Daniel Day Kim. He was on Hawaii Five-0 and Lost. He's 52. Actor Michael DeLuise. I think his uh, dad was Dom. Uh, he was in Gilmore Girls and NYPD Blue. He's 51 today. Actor Dylan and actors Dylan and Cole Sprouse. Uh, the Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. Uh, also on uh, there was the little kids on Grace Under Fire. 28 years old today. Whatever happened to them? I haven't heard from them in a long time. That's it. That's your big shot birthdays. We got some local birthdays coming up. There's a lot going on right now, and broadcasters are on the ground covering all of it, bringing you the weather, the traffic, and breaking news, all while entertaining you 24 hours a day. Someone needs to tell you what's going on around the world and in our hometowns, and that someone is us. We are free radio. We are always there. We are broadcasters. Visit wearebroadcasters.com or text radio to 52886 to learn more. Furnished by NAB and this station. Happy birthdays this morning going out to Amber Flores, Nancy Gamas, Mike Sukwa, Darlene Hale, Brenda Rosa Zolara, Manuel Garcia, Katia Hernandez, Brandon Ados, Carol Thompson, Crystal Romero, Chuck Hewitt Jr., Filomena Huerta, Hannah Barcenas, Jose Carlos Antunes, Kian Counts, uh, we have Liza DeMasters, uh, Lorena Santana, Maria Alvarez, uh, Maria Caro, Paul Wong, Veronica Perez, Jose Lopez, and Bill Quiroz. Happy birthday to every single one. KXOAM 1230 can help you publicize your nonprofit group's upcoming events, and we're happy to do it at no charge. To take advantage of our offer, we ask that you let us know about the event at least two weeks ahead of time. Write down the important information. You know who, what, where, when, and so on. Include a name and phone number of a contact person and mail or deliver the information to KXO 420 Main Street, El Centro, California, 92243. Our email address is kxoamfm at kxoradio.com. The information you supply may be used as community news, public service announcements on the KXO info line or on our website. If you're paying for promotion with another advertising medium, we do offer special nonprofit group rates to promote your event. KXO AM 1230 wants to work with you and your community group to make our Imperial Valley a better place. Tell us what's going on and we'll tell everyone else. KXO AM 1230, here to make a difference in the valley. And it's time for the World in California News Headlines, brought to you by Lock Air Conditioning, your year-round comfort specialist for sales and service. Call the experts at Lock Air Conditioning. CBS News Update. Home and business owners along the Jersey Shore are getting ready for Tropical Storm Isaias. We're hunkering you down. Furniture away. Things that are going to blow away have to be put away. Tornado watches continue for Atlantic and Cape May counties after a twister was spotted near Ocean City in the past hour. WCBS-TV weathercaster Lonnie Quinn. Tornadoes are a threat for everyone up and down the eastern seaboard. Correspondent Steve Dorsey is in Washington, D.C., where the wind is picking up. You can look at the street and see these gusts moving sheets of rain across it. This woman lives in Ocean Isle Beach, North Carolina, where Isaias made landfall as a Category 1 hurricane overnight. It triggered floods and sparked home fires. I saw the police arrive quickly, but there was so much flood water, they had difficulty even trying to get through to the street. At least one person was killed in a suspected twister in Bertie County. CBS News Update. I'm Deborah Rodriguez. 
Lock Air Conditioning wants you to protect the things you care about. Protect your family with the air scrubber that utilizes Active Pure certified technology to protect against airborne and surface contaminants. Clean, deodorize, purify, and protect not only your family, but your home. The air scrubber installs easily to your heating and cooling system, and it's made in the USA. Call Lock Air Conditioning now for details. 760-353-4501. Lock Air Conditioning and protect the things you care about. Contractor's license number 696216. California Headline News. State lawmakers looking to make up for lost revenues resulting from the pandemic, working up a new bill that would raise income taxes on homes with incomes above a million dollars a year. We're saying you can have your first million uh, after deductions in, in, in the pandemic uh, with no additional tax uh, on AB 1253, but your second million? We want you to give one cent per dollar. Some of it, Rob Banta, the plan would also tax income above five million at three and a half percent. It would generate about six and a half billion dollars a year. Teachers in the Los Angeles Unified School District reach agreement on distance learning, allowing the resumption of classes later this month. I don't want to go into a situation where uh, we where we don't feel confident with the science um, that that we can keep everyone safe. The sticking points resolve the question of whether teachers would be required to be physically present in their classrooms while students remained at home. They won't. State Department of Public Health giving permission for a restricted return to youth sports. All sports must be played with physical distancing of at least six feet. Jeff Scott, California News. And World California News headlines brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning. For your air conditioning and sheet metal needs, call Lock Air Conditioning today, 760-353-4501. Progressive presents The Sounds of the Old World. The year is 2019, and someone is waiting for the previews to start in a movie theater. Hey, you want anything? Popcorn? Soda? No, nothing. This has been The Sounds of the Old World. Brought to you by Progressive, where drivers can still switch and save like it's 2019. Quote today at Progressive.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Introducing Peacock, the new free streaming service from NBC Universal. That's got all kinds of funny. Treat yourself. The smart funny, silly funny, super funny. Ain't no party like a Lose Lemon Party, because a Lose Lemon Party is mandatory. LOLs, SNLs, and Saved by the Bells. Time out. And that's why you can't not watch. Peacock. Watch for free. Upgrade for more. Stream now at PeacockTV.com. These titles plus Parks and Rec and 30 Rock streaming now. And it's time for page one of the local news, a service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers with two locations in the valley, in Brawley at Highway 86 and Julia Drive and in El Centro on Imperial Avenue, right next to Food for Less. COVID-19 update. It'll be presented to the County Board of Supervisors this morning. A board meets uh, this morning. The uh, presentation will be made by the County Public Health Department. It is strongly suggested anyone uh, from the public interested in the meeting to view the live stream available on the county website. The board will discuss sending letters to the U.S. Bureau of Land Management, California Department of Fish and Wildlife, and the California Department of Parks and Recreation. Letters will ask them for input on the upcoming tourist season. The uh, supervisors are expected to approve the uh, Public Benefit Scholarship Ad Hoc Committee Award recommendations and approve uh, the immediate amendment to the 2020-2021 uh, proposed budget. They are expected to ratify an agreement with Republic Services Incorporated for a cleanup and removal of fire debris resulting from the Nyland Fire in the amount not to exceed $600,000. The board is also expected to form an ad hoc committee and approve a health equity resolution. Supervisors go into public session at 10 o'clock this morning. The Imperial Irrigation District directors, they meet this afternoon. It's a regular bi-weekly meeting for the board. The Imperial Irrigation District board will discuss alfalfa, Bermuda, Klein grass, uh, uh, Klein Grass Grass Program, the uh, Salton Sea Authority Annual Membership, and uh, service agreements as well as work authorizations. Board will meet with staff only. Public can view the proceedings via live stream av available on the IID website. Board convenes in public session at 1 this afternoon in Cotton Auditorium on Broadway in El Centro. It's Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers for your service needs. Whether it's a lube job, oil and filter change, brake job, battery 
battery or wheel balance and alignment, Quicklane can handle it. And Quicklane services all makes and all models. Oh, and by the way, you never need an appointment. Tires, all the best brands at the best price, guaranteed. See your Quicklane service advisor for details. Quicklane Tire and Auto Centers in the Brawley Auto Plaza, Highway 86 and Julia Drive, and on Imperial Avenue in El Centro, right next to Food for Less. And a COVID-19 Monday update. It was released late Monday morning. The updates are provided by the County Public Health Department. The uh, latest numbers indicate the death toll as a result of the COVID-19 is now at 222. The total number of patients tested is at 48,209. 9,448 have tested positive. Of those, 8,402 have recovered. There are currently 824 active cases of COVID-19 in the Imperial County. El Centro Sector Border Patrol agents working the Highway 86 immigration checkpoint arrested a woman suspected of smuggling narcotics uh, yesterday. The uh, incident occurred at approximately 7.20 a.m. when the woman driving a silver 2006 Hyundai Elantra and her three passengers approached the checkpoint. A Border Patrol K-9 detection team alerted to the driver's side of the vehicle in the primary inspection lane. Agents directed the vehicle to the secondary inspection area. While in in secondary, the uh, Border Patrol agents asked the driver and passenger to exit the vehicle. Agents uh, performed a uh, safety uh, pat-down uh, on all four occupants uh, to search for anything that could be used as a weapon. Uh, during a, one of the uh, pat-downs, agents discovered a plastic-wrapped package hidden in the driver's brassiere. The uh, package uh, co contents uh, were tested uh, with the narcotics test kit and uh, yield a positive result for methamphetamine. Agents also discovered uh, used syringes and a vape pen containing a gold color oil on another occupant. The occupants claimed the oil was uh, THC. The uh, K-9 team uh, proceeded to inspect the vehicle and discovered a large amount of cash inside the driver's purse. The uh, total weight of the methamphetamine discovered was approximately 60.66 pounds with an estimated value of $1,485. Total amount of cash discovered was $6,420. Driver and passengers, all United States citizens, narcotics and the money on and the vehicle were turned over to the Homeland Security Investigations. That's it. That's page one of the local news, a service of a quick lane tire and auto centers in El Centro on Imperial Avenue next to Food for Less and in Brawley on Highway 86 and Julia Drive. Quick lane services all makes and models and you will never need an appointment. From coast to coast, this is Goddard's Gold, right here on the Imperial Valley's AM 1230 KXO. Goddard's Gold. What's your name? Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Get the gold, Goddard's Gold, Saturday 9 p.m. to midnight and Sunday morning 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Goddard's Gold. And it's page two of the local news brought to you by David H. West Insurance Services. See David or Jose for your life and health insurance needs or retirement planning. U.S. Border Patrol agents assigned to the El Centro sector arrested an individual convicted of attempted murder Saturday morning. The incident occurred at around 3.45 a.m. when agents assigned to the El Centro station apprehended a suspect approximately 20 miles west of the Clexico downtown port of entry. The man, an illegal alien from Mexico, was transported to a rally point for processing where agents conducted a criminal background investigation and further medical screening. At the rally point, a records check revealed that the 34-year-old illegal alien from Mexico was convicted of attempted murder on February 9, 2009 in Santa Barbara, California, where he was sentenced to 10 years in prison for the crime. He was uh, also convicted of sexual battery in Santa Barbara on January 28, 2007, and was sentenced to 270 days in prison for that crime. The uh, suspect told agents uh, during the interview that he was initially traveled to Chicago to visit friends before heading to his final destination to Santa Barbara. Additionally, uh, the Ill illegal alien was previously ordered removed from the United States on November 27, 2007. Suspect is being held in federal custody pending further criminal prosecution. 
Cleanup ceremony, it was held Monday morning. Chairman of the Board of Supervisors, Luis Plancarte, was joined by District 4 Supervisor Ryan Kelly and representatives from the California Office of Emergency Services, EFR Environmental Services, Team Rubicon, and Republic Waste Services to launch cleanup efforts of the uh, damage caused by the Nyland fire that occurred on June 28th. The OES has assisted by coordinating efforts with the County of Imperial and other agencies uh, to adhere, adhere to the uh, proper debris management guidelines. EFR Environmental Services assisted with asbestos testing, asbestos mitigation, and household hazardous waste removal. Team Rubicon will be removing the debris from the properties and clearing them for the families to be able to rebuild. Republic is uh, working with the team to uh, provide wa waste bins and hauling the debris to landfills. We're going to take a look at your weather in just a minute. David H. West Insurance is announcing Covered California has extended their enrollment period until August 31st. Because of COVID-19, enrollment has doubled from last year. David H. West Insurance has been helping residents in the Imperial Valley for many years with their insurance needs. David, Jose, and staff are trained professionals who can help you make the right choice and what fits your budget. Don't hesitate. Call David H. West Insurance today and make an appointment at 760-352-3411. That's 352-3411. The high temperature yesterday, 114 degrees. The overnight low this morning, 81. Nash Weather Service says sunny and hot weather expected today. Highs right near 113. Breezy throughout the day. A south wind, 5 to 10 miles per hour. Coming west, southwest to 15 to 20 miles per hour in the afternoon. Winds could get as high as 30 miles per hour. Tonight, clear skies, overnight lows around 78, breezy throughout the night. West wind, 15 to 20 miles per hour, decreasing to 5 to 10 miles per hour after midnight. Winds could get as high as 30 miles per hour. Wednesday, sunny with the highs right near 109. Breezy throughout the day, uh, south wind, 5 to 10 miles per hour, increasing to 15 to 20 miles per hour in the afternoon. Winds could get as high as 30 miles per hour. And right now, we are looking at 82 degrees, 74% the relative humidity. Page 2 of the local news are brought to you this morning by David H. West Insurance Services. See David or Jose for health insurance plans and Medicare supplement coverage. David H. West Insurance Services. There's a lot going on right now, and broadcasters are on the ground covering all of it. Bringing you the weather, the traffic, and breaking news. All while entertaining you 24 hours a day. Someone needs Needs to tell you what's going on around the world and in our hometowns. And that someone is us. We are free radio. We are always there. We are broadcasters. Visit wearebroadcasters.com or text radio to 52886 to learn more. Furnished by NAB and this station. And on the Major League Baseball scoreboard, it was the Reds over the Indians, 3-2. to two. Yankees got by the Phillies, 6-3. to three. Mets beat the Braves, 7-2. to two. It was the White Sox over the Brewers, 6-4. to four. Twins beat the Pirates, 5-4. to four. Cubs over the Royals, 2 to nothing. Shut them out. It was the Rockies over the Giants, 7-6. to six. Padres beat the Dodgers, 5-4. to four. Athletics over the Mariners, 11-1. to one. And one game was postponed. It was the Tigers and the Cardinals. In the NBA, the Raptors beat the Heat by a score of 107 to 103. Uh, Nuggets and Thunder went into overtime. Nuggets won the game 121 to 113. Pacers beat the Wizards 111 to 100. Pelicans over the uh, Grizzlies 109 to 99. 76ers beat the Spurs 132 to 130. And the Lakers clinched their division. Uh, they beat the Jazz by a score of 116 to 108. High school sports are as American as apple pie. And going to a game or meet is a chance to see the stars of tomorrow shine today. But as anybody who's ever attended a high school sporting event in California knows, you can't have the stars without the stripes. High school. That's highschoolofficials.com. 
And a two-time major winner, John Daly, said Monday that he withdrew from the PGA Championship because he did not feel comfortable flying with the high number of cases of COVID or coronavirus in California. 54-year-old who won the event in 1991 is one of several well-known players to announce that they will not take part in the tournament. Retired tennis player Mariano Puerta has admitted he lied to the court of arbitration for sports to reduce his suspension after a second positive doping test. Four months after the high point of his career, the final of the 2005 French Open, the Argentine uh, tested positive for etelephrine, uh, a banned a, a cardiorespiratory stimulant. Uh, he said he, or he had also caught uh, the uh, in the 200. Uh, three for the he was caught for the use of a banned anabol, anabolic steroid uh, three-time grand slam champion andy murray was one of four men given a wild card a wild card entry on monday for the western and southern open tune-up tournament that will be held at flushing meadows before the u.s open and a tour level tennis resumed after a five-month enforced break on Monday. And players at the Palermo Ladies Open had to uh, handle their own towels, uh, could not shake hands with the opponents, and they couldn't take showers after the tournament. Uh, Big 12 uh, president and uh, the uh, chancellors uh, approved a scheduled model uh, for the upcoming college football season that will include nine conference games and one non-conference game, according to the uh, league. They confirmed that yesterday. LeBron James arrived at the Los Angeles Lakers 116-108 win over the uh, Utah Jazz on Monday, a game that clinched the franchise's first number one seed in the Western Conference in a decade. He was wearing a black t shirt meant to address a message bigger than basketball. And the Jacksonville Jaguars have activated quarterback Gardner Minshew uh, from the uh, team's reserve uh, COVID-19 list two days after he and four others were placed on it. And uh, UFC Dana White says he does not expect Conor Gregor to return to the Octagon this year. UFC president said Monday in an interview with uh, Barstool Sports that there are no plans for McGregor to fight in the UFC again in 2020. White said he considers McGregor retired ever since McGregor tweeted about retirement on June 6th. Okay, said he was retired, so that's safe to assume. Hours after receiving a response from Pac-12 Commissioner Larry Scott that indicated that he was eager to hear more about their concerns and would find a convenient time to speak later this week, leaders from the Pac-12's uh, We Are United campaign responded late Monday uh, by asking for more immediate action. And the two-time defending and National League East champion Atlanta Braves took a huge blow when uh, the young pitching star Mike Soroka uh, was lost for the rest of the season uh, Monday night after tearing his right Achilles tendon in a game against the New York Mets. That's a look at sports. We got the financial news and weather coming up. KXOAM 1230 can help you publicize your nonprofit group's upcoming events, and we're happy to do it at no charge. To take advantage of our offer, we ask that you let us know about the event at least two weeks ahead of time. Write down the important information. You know who, what, where, when, and so on. Include a name and phone number of a contact person and mail or deliver the information to KXO, 420 Main Street, El Centro, California, 92243. Our email address is kxoamfm at kxoradio.com. The information you supply may be used as community news, public service announcements on the KXO info line, or on our website. If you're paying for promotion with another advertising medium, we do offer special nonprofit group rates to promote your event. KXO AM 1230 wants to work with you and your community group to make our Imperial Valley a better place. Tell us what's going on and we'll tell everyone else. KXO AM 1230, here to make a difference in the valley. And your financial news and weather brought to you this morning by Imperial Valley's Roto-Rooter. When drains don't work, they do. 
U.S. stocks ticked lower at the start of this morning's trade, a day after a rally in shares of technology companies drove the Nasdaq composite to another record close. S&P 500 was down 7 points, or 0.2% to 3,288. Dow Jones Industrial Average shed 41 points, or 0.2% to 26,623. Nasdaq Composite fell 25 points, or 0.2% to 10,877. Investors eyed another round of earnings along with the negotiations between Democrats and Republicans around a new coronavirus relief package. Without additional stimulus funds, U.S. recovery could suffer setbacks, according to analyst Ralph Lauren Incorporated. Stock fell, stock fell, uh, 6.2% on Tuesday after the luxury lifestyle brand reported fiscal first quarter revenue that missed expectations. That's it. That's a look at business. we got your weather coming up. Roto-Rooter, your plumbing and drain cleaning specialists. Roto-Rooter offers full services from hydro jetting to camera inspection, water heaters, faucets, garbage disposals, anything that's clogged up. They'll take care of the problem right. Roto-Rooter is a locally owned family business with 53 years in the Imperial Valley. Call the experts at 760-352-6789. That's 352-6789 or 344-2533 in the North End. Roto-Rooter, when drains don't work, we do. The high temperature yesterday, 114 degrees. The overnight low this morning, 81. National Weather Service says high pressure will persist across the desert southwest this week, resulting in a continuation of well above normal temperatures. Daily high temperatures across the lower deserts will mostly range from 107 to 112 degrees for the bulk of the week. Weather forecast calling for sunny and hot weather today. Highs right near 113. Breezy this afternoon with a south wind 5 to 10 miles per hour becoming west-southwest 50 to 20 miles per hour in the afternoon. Winds could gust as high as 30 miles per hour. Tonight, clear skies, overnight lows around 78, breezy throughout the night. West wind, 15 to 20 miles per hour, decreasing to 5 to 10 miles per hour after midnight. Winds could gust as high as 30 miles per hour. Wednesday, sunny with the highs right near 109. Continued breezy with a south wind 5 to 10 miles per hour, increasing to 15 to 20 miles per hour in the afternoon. Winds could gust as high as 30 miles per hour. And right now we're looking at 82 degrees, 74%, the relative humidity. You've been listening to the Financial News and Weather, brought to you by Roto-Rooter in El Centro and Brawley. When drains don't work, they do. There's a lot going on right now, and broadcasters are on the ground covering all of it, bringing you the weather, the traffic, and breaking news, all while entertaining you 24 hours a day. Someone needs to tell you what's going on around the world and in our hometowns, and that someone is us. We are free radio. We are always there. We are broadcasters. Visit wearebroadcasters.com or text radio to 52886 to learn more. Furnished by NAB and this station. And we're coming up on 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock, we got CBS News at the top of the hour. Six minutes of news and information. We're going to find out what the heck is going on out there now. The best oldies on the radio. KXO, El Centro. The Imperial Valley's local news source. This is CBS News on the hour. Presented by Capital One Bank. I'm Steve Kathan. Hurricane Isais has plowed into North Carolina and is heading north now as a tropical storm. At least one death in that state is blamed on it from an apparent tornado that was kicked up. It's going to be a factor all day long along the East Coast. Just been watching the water rise. I'm Cammie McCormick. With as much as seven inches of rain in parts of southern Maryland, the message... Stay home. Alfred Jeffrey is the deputy director of public safety in Calvert County. I think all of our departments are out on the road responding to incidents now. And the situation could get worse. We're expecting the heavier rains to to show up very soon along with some, some higher winds. The good news is the storm is moving very quickly. A wildfire in the mountains east of Los Angeles has burned more than 40 square miles. Residents who were chased out of their homes are worried. It was scary. There were about 30 foot tall flames. I want to sleep in my bed. I want to be in my house. I want to know that it's all safe. Officials say that fire was started by a malfunction diesel vehicle. National Institutes of Health today announcing two new clinical trials investigating a treatment with the drug maker Eli Lilly for people battling COVID-19. 
NIH Director Dr. Francis Collins. We will be earnestly seeking individuals who have been found to be infected with the SARS-CoV-2 virus and who are interested in taking part in seeking answers to a critical question. Can monoclonal antibodies reduce severity of COVID-19? Can that approach even save lives? The healthcare software company Epic Systems is facing backlash over plans to have thousands of employees who've been working from home for months go back to its Wisconsin headquarters. CBS's Anna Warner. In internal employee surveys obtained by CBS News, hundreds of staffers voiced their objections. One writing, I'm quite frankly embarrassed to work at a company that values employee and public safety so little. And from another, there will be people who die because of Epic's insistence on returning to campus. Honda's recalling more than a million and a half late model minivans and SUVs to fix problems that include bad backup camera displays and doors that don't latch right. What would Christmas be like without the Radio City Rockettes? Well, we'll find out this year. There's word the annual holiday shows in New York City are being canceled because of all the uncertainty in the pandemic for the first time since they began way back in 1933. Checking Wall Street right now, the Dow is higher. It's up 83 points. This is CBS News. Brought to you by Capital One. Capital One's banking app lets you manage your money anytime, anywhere. This is banking reimagined. What's in your wallet? Capital One N.A. At Walgreens, we know summer may look a little different this year. That's why we've made it easier to enjoy the moments you do make with new ways to shop. With shop online and pick up in our drive through or quick same-day delivery on select items with Postmates, you can keep summer going. This week, find great deals like buy one sun care item from your favorite brands like Banana Boat. Get one 50% off. Walgreens. Offer valid with card while supplies last. Restrictions and exclusions apply. See walgreens.com for details. How much money would you like to save just by doing something you're already doing? 15 or 25%? How about 30%? Here in California, all state safe drivers can save 30% just by doing something they're already doing. Driving safe. That's right, 30% just by driving safe. Allstate can help lower your cost of driving. Safe drivers can save 30% or more. Visit Allstate.com or call a local agent for a quote today. Subject to terms, conditions, and availability. Savings vary. There's been action in one state to get rid of a term with racist roots. A Massachusetts appeals court is getting rid of grandfathering, at least the term, because of its racist origins. The phrase originally referred to provisions adopted by some states after the Civil War. In the footnote of a decision involving local zoning, the court notes it was intended to disenfranchise black voters by requiring them to pass literacy tests while exempting descendants of men who were eligible to vote before 1867. Deborah Rodriguez, CBS News. Oprah Winfrey has picked Isabel Wilkerson's cast as her new book club selection. Wilkerson looks at American history and treatment of blacks and finds what she calls an enduring, unseen, and unmentioned caste system. New York Times calls it an extraordinary document and the keynote nonfiction book of the American century thus far. Steve Kaith and CBS News. Balance of nature, changing the world one life at a time. I think just taking the balance of nature, I really feel like I just, plain old fashioned, feel better. And it's really a noticeable thing. So that to me is significant. It really is. Right now, Balance of Nature is offering free shipping and 35% off on any new preferred order. Call 1-800-2468. 751 or go to balanceofnature.com today and use discount code fruits the second wave is here now renowned dr chauncey crandall reveals the truth about the coronavirus in his new bestseller fight back in fight back you'll find out how to boost your immune system and protect against high blood pressure diabetes obesity or worse a number one amazon bestseller newsmax calls fight back the ultimate antidote with the latest drug treatments and more get it today or see the free offer and save twenty dollars call 800-821-3000 800-821-3000 or go to fightback411.com And now, more of the best oldies on the radio with George Gale. We're just trying to entertain people, and morality's just going to get in the way. AM 1230. <laughs> That's hilarious. KXO. 1230 KXO. 